times like this, I'm especially grateful that we have sponsors. Today, the frogs and I will be reviewing the Weber BBQ Grill. When barbecue season rolls around and you're going camping, you want a good grill. And this BBQ has been just a fantastic grill for us over the past year. It sounds strange to say that a grill has been beautifully designed, but uh, I think that's the case here. Build quality is very good. It seems like a rugged little grill with 189 square inches of cooking space. This baby is larger than it looks. The grill's easy to clean. There's even a handy drip tray that fits in underneath and is easily removable. Or we even have a travel case for ours so you can slip it inside this canvas bag and haul it around like a piece of luggage. Now I have one complaint with the Weber and that is for some reason unbeknownst to man. They've chosen to power the grill with these little propane tanks. When you go look for these tanks don't look in the barbecue section, go look for welding supplies and uh, apparently they use them to power blow torches. So this is what you're going to want, this little skinny tank. The skinny tank will actually fit the Weber BBQ grill. So you just screw your little tank in here, like so. Now we have propane. This little push button starter. Woo! We're grilling on a cedar plank today. We're gonna have a nice piece of salmon. Tags on top. Well, I like the size. I think it's a great size to travel with. It gives you plenty of space to cook for two people. If you have four people, I think there's plenty of room for, you know, at least a main course. It gets really hot, really fast, and just does a great job cooking. Proofs in the pudding. This grill is well designed and they didn't go cheap on the build quality. The BBQ may cost a little more than other travel grills, but I think it's worth it.